welcome to my new video y'all hi new channel new me okay so we're gonna handle all this hair how are we gonna do that you ask well i got a couple products for you just to show you i'm only trying one product in this video but let me just show you what i've found for hair remover since olay has been discontinued all of these cool products are for hair remover so in this video i'll just be trying one but there's so much more out there comment below this product I have actually never tried. I tried the extra strength version of this product, but this is my first time trying this specific product. So keep watching in the video. I actually originally saw it on Instagram. This guy with the bald head was using it on his head and I figured, why can't I use it on my face? So I'm excited to try it in this video. At least four minutes at the max, seven, seven minutes for application. So I'm wearing this headband. Um, if you haven't seen my Olay video for hair remover, go watch that one. That's the same process I'm using in this video. Obviously, I'm not going super in-depth in this video. I'm wearing white. If you see this shirt in another video, comment below which video it's from. Um, I'm also having clean hands. Clean hands are important. Clean hands. Wash your hands. Duh. Whenever you're touching your face or anything else, clean hands are good for white towel because hair remover products can bleach next up I'm reading the instructions again that's very important to not burn yourself the product is a little harsh um, this is the consistency it's a thick cream it has small beads in it a light odor not too bad I've smelled worse I'm just applying it here and opposed to the other video that I did I didn't apply it on the heaviest hair which is the mistake I made in this video but overall the application is very easy I choose to use my fingers you don't have to use your fingers I like being able to feel and guide myself on where to go it's just the easiest way for me it's a pretty simple application I'm applying it on everywhere I want to remove hair being careful not to um, get it on hair that I don't want to remove I'm only doing half of my face and you'll see why later in this video but um, I'm applying it all the way up obviously if you're trying a new product test it on somewhere else like your arm or wherever else you have hair to kind of just see how your skin reacts to it again this is the final amount of hair I'm removing so I'm cleaning it up before I set my timer just to make sure I'm not like burning myself I set the timer for about five minutes so here's five minutes later and I'm now going through and removing with that same process and it's it's working <laughs> you can see the shock and joy on my face it, it is working so it's doing pretty all right hey <laughs> it's working pretty well so I'm now assessing and I feel like I need two extra minutes because if we look closely some of the hairs were left behind and we do not leave hairs behind do we obviously whenever you're using a cream product like this you don't want to apply it again and again so I'm just gonna leave those hairs until the next day and the rest I'm gonna just let process for a little bit longer the hair um, towards the bottom is more coarse so I should have obviously done that first and worked my way up but that's okay we're learning this is a new product I haven't tried before so I did another two minutes on the lower hair and now you're going to see the results So I'm using the same process as the Olay video and wrapping the hair and removing it using a white towel because they're less likely to bleach. And wow, it's pretty clean. I have to admit the hair down there is pretty clean. The product is kind it's medium harsh. The Olay is the most gentle, but this, it's medium harsh and it works. So, you know, I like it. I like it so far. It doesn't leave bumps. I'm assessing it and I'm like, hmm, okay, it's all right. It's so-so. I think so. I think it's pretty good. I just need to learn how to use it. So you want to stay tuned. Even though I'm done, you want to watch the next. These are some more products. I only did half of my face. Remember I said that before. So with this half, you guys, show me what you want me to do below in the comments. If you don't pick anything, I'll just pick it myself. I bet you thought the whole video was about to be a voiceover. But <laughs> surprise. Honorable mention is this Bliss Fuzz Off product. I don't want to do a video on a product that's discontinued. So if you can find this or see this, sometimes you see things in random stores or if you're a reseller, you shop and you find different things. I like it. Comes in this. They have different versions of the box, but overall the box is by Bliss. It's called Fuzz Off. So it's kind of like a... Let me 
put you in auto focus. The applicator looks like this. Kind of like a rubbery product. I don't really care about the applicator. I never just put the applicators on my face. But this is the closest thing to a good applicator I've seen because I do like to put my fingers. I like to feel and see where the hairs are. Look at the white balance just going away in this video. I look so yellow, but okay. Anyway, you twist the product and then it's on. And then you're going to squeeze. Don't embarrass me. Also, you want to twist the arrow to on. And you're going to squeeze. So I'm going to have the arrow now. You squeeze. And you see it coming up. And it comes up and it looks, it comes up and it goes like this. Mm -hmm. It smells not the greatest, but it works. This works pretty well for me. To delete some footage, that's why I do voiceovers because I ramble a lot. Uh, anyway, I use this product you rub it on your face and then wipe off, so it's pretty simple. If you could find it, it's good. <laughs> Keep looking over here, keep looking in the viewfinder, looking over here, looking in the viewfinder, looking over here, looking in the viewfinder, looking over here, looking in the viewfinder, looking over here. I realized this whole video looks like I'm, I'm wearing a shirt, y'all. It's not a sports bra. It kind of looks like I'm wearing a bra. But I mean... Why won't you focus on me? Focus on me. Okay, get the lens. <laughs> Honorable mention! Ooh, thumbnail. Look at the lens. I look at the viewfinder the whole time. I'm looking at the viewfinder over here. I'm looking at the viewfinder over here. I need to look.